So here we are, it's time for a uh, pub encounter, which is uh, a game that I've not played in any way, shape uh, or form. Um, just thought we'd try something a wee bit new. I've been playing, well I say I've been playing, I've played Life is Strange exactly twice now. Um, and I was going to just start going from episode two. And then, I don't know, I had a wee look around and thought, well what if folk fancy something a wee bit different? So I thought I'd... I download a, a dating game for the, the Switch because um, that's what you do if you want something a wee bit different. So let me just bring this up here. Uh, absolutely no clue why on Twitch it always says I'm playing Pac-Man. At some point it's, it's decided that Pac-Man is a game that I play and I guess that's just what we're going to have to go with. Uh, so let me know if you're watching. Um, contribute in the chat if you wish um but you have absolutely no obligation to do so sometimes it's just nice to watch so without further ado let's begin pub encounter okay so that's me bs scott uh okay so last name and first name so let's go for it oh, nope that is the exact wrong button So we're just going to go with uh, my name, which is Scott, and my last name, which is not Scott, it is white, so there we go, first name Scott, last name white, this is the name you're referred to as in the game, you may change your name at any time in the so that's good. I mean, don't know why you'd want to go around and change your name too much, but who knows? No, um, no judgment here. So please begin with the prologue. Makes sense. So I'm just gonna. I've actually got a big bottle of whiskey blocking the screen, so I'm just gonna move that out of the way. So I'm just. I'm actually having a wee whiskey while I play because I feel like maybe maybe we'll feel better. So, dandy shot. Okay. Oh, Jesus, that's a lot of buttons. Looks a wee bit like the bar from uh, Yakuza. That's quite good. That makes me feel good. New Serena. The jingling of the door chime greeted me as I pulled open the door. Scott White. <laughs> um, hi. I'm not going to read it all out. It's okay. I, I trust you all can read it. So I've had a terrible day at work and I've walked into a back alley. Um, you know, good things always come when you walk into a back alley. I just wanted somewhere to hide and be alone for a while. But I noticed a bar made. Odaya? Odaya? What are we going with? Hmm. For some reason I felt drawn to the bar. And before I knew it, I was opening the door. Oh, Jesus. Okay. It's not often we see young women like me around here. Alright. <laughs> That's probably, probably true. Uh, am I lost? No. No, I saw the sign and uh, just got curious. That's a normal thing to say, isn't it? A lot of buttons here, so you've got history, fast forward, just a wee second, history, fast forward, quick load, quick save, autoplay, load, save, like every button does something, hey, to remember. Care for a drink? Yes, that might be what drew me here in the first place, I mean it's a bar, that would make a lot of sense. Oh, so this guy's the owner, he's only got half a pair of glasses on, so the bar must not be doing very well. Who are you? Are you the owner? <laughs> well, his name's owner, so it must be. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, you did. For ages, that's good. He must be better off. Oh, he's wearing a. Is that a bolo? Is that what you call it? A bolo? The wee thing you wear around your neck and you tighten it up. That's quite interesting. An interesting thing to wear with a jumper and a shirt. He's obviously a bit richer because he's got uh, two lenses in his glasses as opposed to the other guy who's only got one. A tad disparated when you came in. Would you care to talk about it? I probably will feel a bit better. Okay. I messed up at work. I haven't even been there a year, so I know I won't be perfect. But I keep making mistakes day after day. It's kind of wearing me out. We've all been there, let's be honest. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Maybe I'm this old man. Just then, I heard the door open. <laughs> Hello there. That's a nice wee prequel reference, nice. 
All right. Middle-aged? It's embarrassing that these guys are both classed as middle-aged when they're both clearly, clearly much younger than I am. Unless life... That guy, I mean, that guy looks like a vampire. Maybe he is a vampire. I mean, let, let's not prejudge. He could be a vampire. Is it the first time? It'll be nice to have an oasis in this desert of masculinity. Welcome. Like, these... these both these guys look like either vampires or kind of like the guys you would fight quite early on in a Yakuza game. He looks like him from Helsing. It's it's good. I mean, that'd be quite good. A, a dating game just full of vampires. I'm the only one that's not a vampire. Oh. Okay, so he's got a ring on his finger and round his neck and a tattoo. So a wee bit, wee bit taboo there. Have a wee tattoo. Walter. <laughs> what might your name be? Hey, don't keep her all to yourself. He seems a bit more wholesome than the other guy. He's wearing, he's wearing, like, definitely less, little, less rings. So that's good. The tone of the evening had changed drastically. Still a bit unsure, I timidly offered my name. My name is Scott White. <laughs> it's not a very common name in Japan. It's a nice name, thank you. My parents gave it to me. Okay, interesting. Tell me about your names. Tell me where your names are from. It's weird is that they're okay with like, I'm like, oh, your names are weird, but they're like, I'm a woman called Scott White. Oh. Mm, you definitely piqued my interest. Already? Oh, I'm glad you're happy. Huh? What? Oh, dirty bastard. I'm as red as a beat. I really am cute. I really am, thank you. I like this guy. They're fighting over me already. Oh, right, here we go. I like this guy. It's like, I don't I don't know what I mean. It's like, I, while I enjoy a lot of different Japanese things, there always seems to be like the really uptight guy who follows the rules. It's the same in like My Hero Academia and stuff like that. And bad news, Scott. Uh, Dan Robot says he's arrogant, he's got shite stubble and a pinky ring. He's bad news for me. I, th I think you're right, to be honest. I, I don't think he's going to treat me right. I'm interested in this middle aged third guy here. A man in a suit looking upset. Oh! Don't give me that. <laughs> the nerve. Um. Blank. These men are all regulars here. Nice to meet you. It's my first time here. Oh, here all the time. Mm, he definitely doesn't have a more difficult approach. Yeah, the, le the very least you could do is return the favor. The very least. I'm trying to figure out how this bar's how this bar works out because it looks like. So there's a gramophone behind third middle-aged guy, and I don't know, I'm trying to figure out if next to the gramophone is the till. If it's the till, it's facing buttons towards me. I feel like that's the wrong way around. Oh, oh, we smile, we smile. Pleased to meet you too. I'm Scott White. How's it going? I'm Scott White, I, I do bits of Oh, oh, some more question marks. Oh, who's the, oh, fuck, he is not middle-aged. The only thing that's, that's showing these guys are middle-aged is maybe their hair is a bit of an, an off colour, if you know what I mean, like it's not black, but yeah, all these guys are much younger than me, so it's either that middle-aged means something completely different in Japan, or everyone dies at about 55. I think my name just flipped round there. I'm pretty sure it's appeared as Scott White through most of it and it just flipped round. Oh. Shit, this guy's stiff. Alright, this game's uh this game's heating up. Man four. 
Right, I'm and like I'm almost convinced my name appeared as Scott White earlier, and now it's flipped around as White Scott. I'm almost convinced. It's nice re and relaxing. This it's like it's not all attention yet. I'd like to get to know some of these guys, but I suppose you need to set the scene first. Imagine you went to a bar, and this is what happened. You've had a bad day at work, you go into a bar for a drink, and suddenly you're surrounded by middle-aged men who either are coming onto you really hard or just like being grumpy. Oh, what's your name? Oh, Hodo Yurish Yurisha. See that I'm probably not going to pronounce too many game. Eh, brr, too many names because a I've had a single whiskey and uh, b I'm an idiot. I'm just a regular at this bar. Okay. Low lives. I mean, in fairness, that guy does definitely have some tattoo on his neck, which is fairly taboo in Japan, so. Which all automatically attracts me to the vocal. No one's got me a drink. Do I get to choose my drink? I must get, there must be some choices I can make in this game, surely. Imagine it wasn't. 15 pounds in a game, you just keep hitting X, and it just keeps it's going forward, there's no changes. Alright, what would you like? You have the usual, okay. So they're all having the usual. Oh, another usual. That's bar must be great. Oh. Oh, right, okay, a little present, okay. What are you gonna give me? To celebrate our meeting. Oh, see, my name's flipped back round again. It was definitely White Scott and now it's gone back to Scott White. I mean, I, I'm not picking holes in this game. It's obviously a high quality game, so. Just accept it. I have my prayers as a man to worry about, too. True. He doesn't know my name? Alright, sorry, I'm Scott White. I do a. Uh, uh, BitSocket. It's just a small YouTube channel based in Scotland. Uh, we do a podcast as well. Um, how you doing? A scorpion? This guy hates me, he's getting me a scorpion. Again, I don't know how that bartender can see properly the other eye. It's not first come first served, that's right. This is so relaxing to play. I'm just sitting a wee whiskey in one hand, just tapping the A button. Every so often, just tapping the A button. I'm feeling tense. Oof. Someone's face is very stiff. I think, I mean, if I'm being honest, if I'm a woman who's walked in alone into this bar and suddenly there's, what, six guys just all crowding around me, I'd be feeling pretty tense right now. Pretty tense. They seem quite nice, but also, they also, also, I mean, those two look like vampires. Why is it was a vampire game? I bought a vampire game without knowing it. My third vampire game of the month. Oh. It's pretty hot. Here's my scorpion. Wow. I've never seen a yellow cocktail before. Um, do you know I'm struggling to, I'm, I've probably had a really lemony one before, that's quite yellow. Cocktail from Hawaii, mmm. Filling out all the stops. <laughs> These guys know I can hear them, right? What do you mean gets the worm? Am I the worm? Am I the worm? Hodo. Disgusting. They're talking about the language of cocktails. <laughs> the language of cocktails. Scorpion says, I want to get drunk on your eyes. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, I'll dig. I like this guy's jacket, that's him away. See you later, mate. It's been a while since we've had a woman around. Again, you're not helping the vibe here. Like, it still feels creepy. Some variety is nice once in a while. Uh, yeah, you're all coming off like vampires. I mean, his eyes are yellow. And kind of glowing. I'm pretty sure the other guys is as well.
，是什么跑冰箱？哦、oh, ，那个三个 ，It's gonna attack me. It's gonna attack someone, Sam. Hey, how about we have a toast? I'm quite liking this old guy. Um, he just seems quite chill. Like so far, he's not tried to like make me feel weird. Let's have a toast. Everyone waited. All right, take your time. To a wonderful guest, Scott from Bitsocket. We aren't drinking to her eyes. <laughs> These guys. I would one hundred percent be like, "Oh, can I nip to the bathroom?" And then I would just leave. I would just leave this bar. Kind of embarrassing. It's not how I'd feel. Oh, music stopped. Oh, it's back again. For a wee minute, thought it was broken. Excuse me, miss. Oh, he's coming right in my face. He's like right there. It's kind of scary. All right, cool. I mean, it's a bar. I mean, it'd be weird if you turned around to me and said, after all this, I wasn't welcome. My next, my next visit. What do you mean? Is that me done? One drink. Well, thanks for my one drink. <laughs> See you later. Oh. All right. Oh, oh, right. Okay. Oh, I can only get him to second season. All right. Okay. So let's have a look then. So, um, I will give it. Like, let's just leave it on the screen for just a wee second and see if anyone would like to say who they would like to see me date or talk, get to know better. I should say. Um, put it in the the chat now. I will go with whoever is first to say. But then if no one's there in the group, in the chat, what will then happen? What will then happen is, I'll choose someone. I like how one guy's got a second season thing as well. Mm. Okay, I'll, I will have a wee sip of my whiskey and I'll wait and see if anyone contributes. But it's okay if you don't want to. There's no pressure here, having a nice relaxing night at the pub. Just enjoy that. Right. Okay. Well, I've not had anything yet, so I'm just going to quickly go through and see how I'm feeling. Let's see. So this guy seems a wee bit uptight. Certain events in his past is uncomfortable around women, so something bad's happened there. Always in a good mood, but is obviously a vampire. A seemingly gentle man who has a way with words. Treats life like a game. Okay. Interesting. Charming, but a moron. If there's women around, he naturally winds up next to a more cunning Alex, 100% a vampire. Can gentleman who's good at listening, normally he's just an observer once you get to know him. Right, nah, okay. I think, I'm going to be honest, seems a bit old for me. Oh, go for the vampire. Okay, so, I'd say, would you say then, Glitch Finder General 98, so that's some username. Um, that's a good username. Um, so is that Hideki Kodama we're going for? I mean, because these guys both kind of look like vampires, but he's more of a vampire. I'd say we're going with Hideki Kodama, unless told otherwise. Yeah, we're going with vampire. The most vampire. Um, yeah, I'd say he's. I'd, I'd say out of those pictures, Hideki Kodama is definitely the most vampire. So let's see where this where this leads. Oh, Christ, is this actually main volume sequel? To... <sighs> okay, um, main main volume. All right. Um, oh, Jesus Christ! Right, we, right. Okay, I think we're, <laughs> I think we're getting there. I think we're on main volume. Okay, right. Okay. What's hidden behind the jar? Dandy shot. I am beat. I dragged my feet along as I walked home. My boss has been in a bad mood again today, and I've been stuck working overtime till late. I checked my watch, the hour hand was nearly on the 11 mark. Oh, that's quite late. A rumbling sound came from my stomach. I was so hungry too, I would figure that out. Just when I'd about decided to grab some fast food, some, sudden, something suddenly popped into my mind. The bar. I, I'm not, I, I'm going to go with Odeir, Odeir, 
Oh, oh Dyer sounds a bit bad. Um, and happened to stop in to just the other day. They should be still open at this hour. I'm not going to keep reading that because, uh, let's be honest, I can barely read. Good evening, bar. If I'd been noticed, there seems to be only six people that drink in this bar. Hey, it's got it's me, it's you. Oh, a tingle of anxiety up my spine. All right. Oh, Christ, they're all there. Yeah, don't be mean. He's, he's ancient, he's immortal. Don't be mean. You big mouths. <laughs> game? What game? I'm knackered. I mean, it's 11 o'clock at night, and all these guys are... I mean, I feel like as well, that other guy who's like really into his job, it's 11 o'clock at night. Should he not be in his bed so he's fresh for the morning? I mean, I don't know what his job is though. He could be a night watchman. Oh, a small giggle slips from my lips. I'm starting to enjoy myself. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I like the idea that when the picture gets really big, that means they're literally in my face. This is this is too funny. Sorry for laughing like that. What do you mean if they mind if you join you? Like I don't know if you get the choice. Oh, something embarrassing is about to happen. Right, what are we guessing? Like something something embarrassing is about to happen as I as I approach the table. Um Drop my drink, but I don't know if I'm even I even got a drink. It's not said yet. So yeah, let's just something embarrassing. Something, let's find it. A loud growl came from my stomach. Okay, that's not the most embarrassing thing, but certainly I mean, probably quite embarrassing. These are strangers after all. Oh shit, they think they think I farted. They think I farted. What was wrong with me? I just farted in front of all these men. Damn stomach betrayed me yet again. The final boss of this game is IBS. Why did this have to happen now? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting around. <laughs> you know, it's. Uh, none left, Mike says. I noticed that one of my balls is hanging out. So that would be. That would also be um, a social faux pas. So everyone's now disgusted with me. I drop my head in shame. My, my head just falls straight off my shoulders onto the floor in shame. Just when we'd all been having such a good time, I went and spoiled it all with my loud belly. <gasps> Make our toast today with food. Please say we're going to have toast because that would be funny. If it's not toast we have then that's an absolute waste of time. You can definitely call it toast. If you take some bread and you heat it up, it's definitely called a toast. Oh, pulling me into the centre of the group. Oh shit, they're going to eat me. They're going to eat me. The vampire's going to eat me. He's going to eat me. Oh. Oh, what does? Dip! Jesus, I didn't know that. Right, I don't know if the delay will make it seem like I read what it does as it came up, but I literally said it before it came up. I'm just so in tune with this game. I'm just much slower at my job than ever. Oh. Looks kind of a disdainful look. All right, cool. I'm expecting too much of myself. I mean, I don't know what kind of job I have. I don't know what kind of job I have actually. The game's not told me yet. Hopefully, it's nice. Try and relax a little. There's no need to always do everything perfectly. That's right. <laughs> whispering about. This is like whispering in the corner. Oh. Uh, what? Wait, what? What? Um, I'm feeling a wee bit uncomfortable, I suppose, but it's because um, we said we we're going to have some food, and that was ten minutes ago, and I'm pretty hungry. The back and forth, was so much like a comedic performance that I couldn't help smiling. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> what the hell happened there? Uh, 
Did I just get chucked to the bar? All right. Uh, I feel I feel better now, but I'm uh, I'm, I'm very hungry. Are we, did, did we eat? Did we eat? Uh, did he just teleport me to a scary lane? Like with his vampire skills, I've just been teleported into the middle of nowhere. He smiled and chatted as he walked me home. If I don't invite him into the the house, then I should be okay. He had refused to let me, insisting that I'd better not because I'd work tomorrow. Yeah, that's true. I'm not feeling that well because you sort of said we're going to have food and then not a single one of you has given me any actual food. Oh. He had fun too. Well, you just teleported me halfway across wherever I'm... Halfway across the city. Oh. I feel a bit flustered. A bit scared. Oh, but my face doesn't get too flushed because he might um, attack. Oh, shit. Uh... <sighs> right, first decision. Hopefully it won't time out. If it times out, I'll leave it on the top option, just in case. But, help, help me choose. So, am I going to ask him out or not say anything? Is there going to be nice picking or am I going to ask him out? I shall have a wee sip of whiskey while you chat amongst yourself. That whiskey nice. Maybe we sip of water though. So am I going to ask him out, or am I going to not say a single thing? Help me choose. Although, in a few seconds I might just make a decision. Ask him out, be a modern woman. Yep, I like your thinking. Oh. No need to be so nervous. Well, maybe next time. Oh, make it just the two of us. What do you think? Well, it would be nice to do that instead of hanging about with you and your five pals. My body temperature's rising. Oh shit, he's gonna bite me. He's gonna bite me. He's gonna bite me. He's gonna bite me. Oh! <sighs> Scott White will never know how close he came to dying. Oh! <laughs> this game does... It takes absolutely does not prepare you for the transition, it just absolutely straight into it. A few days passed, I was filled with a sense of freedom after getting a new perspective on work. All my hard work had paid off, my boss had finally recognised and praised my efforts. That made me think of, would it be Hidekiya? Hidekiya, that's what we'll go with that, Hideki? Maybe, actually, Hideki makes more sense. Um, I wondered how he was doing. The fact that we'd only met twice suddenly crossed my mind. I thought of him often. His grown-up easy-goingness and his boyish smile. And with every thought, it made me want to see him again. I thought I saw the what? I thought I saw the very man I'd been. So I, th I think it's meant to say I saw the very man I'd been thinking about. But that's fine. It's okay. We're gonna forgive it. It was only, it was only sixteen pounds. Six, 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 sixteen pounds. I instinctively called out his name. Oh, Jesus, he teleported me again? This kind of bit, like, I, I feel like Scott White should be bringing this up more, like, how are you doing this? I'm happy he teleported me all the way here from wherever we were before. Well, that's handy, it turned out to be the guy I thought it was. Otherwise, that'd be embarrassing. But then I thought, how did we, how did we get to this cafe? Oh. <gasps> He's in the middle of the work week. We all thought it. How could I be so stupid? I hated myself. <laughs> this game's pretty harsh. Pretty harsh. I really have to work on that. I feel a bit frustrated. I feel hopeless. I hate myself. A farmer. <laughs> Feels like Scotland's a bit too down on themselves. My cheeks are glowing red. I'm embarrassed. I'm mortified.
too much negativity in this game. Oh, he's happy. We're fine. He's got a big smile spreading on his face. Showing off his fangs. That was pounding loudly in my chest. What? What? <laughs> How did... What? Is this where he walks? Um, my what? My, my, my boyfriend? Uh, is this a shock twist? Is your boyfriend really okay with? Uh, what? Hey, what is this about a boyfriend? So do I have a boyfriend or not? Is that something I brought up when, like, in between cutscenes? But never mind that. Oh, I didn't ask him anything. I'm pretty sure I did. How dare you put words in my mouth? Oh, here we go. I don't have a boyfriend. Everyone's. Everyone's all cool with that now. Oh. <laughs> don't, don't look so surprised. I really don't have one. They both look... I mean... Your man on the right there looks positively disgusted. I really don't have a boyfriend. It's true. I really don't have a boyfriend. Oh, in that case... Oh, his voice dropped low as he whispered, so let's have a go whisper. How about... How about me? <laughs> <laughs> let's let, let's let's drop real low and just whisper like him. Uh, 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 how about me? <laughs> huh? Once understood what he meant, my face immediately flushed. Right down the toilet. What was this guy thinking? Just don't do it. Not with this guy. <laughs> All right. Is that an option? Teleported right to nighttime. Go out to eat with some friends tonight. Pardon, I have friends. Or. Mm, last time we left so suddenly. So what was he going to say? Oh. Jesus, that was very, very bright. Oh, sound of a phone ring interrupted his sentence. Why now? Wait a minute. Did... Did he like me? <laughs> it feels like this is a game where uh, Scott's face will go red a lot. And that's okay, I mean, it's fine. A lot of people get quite easily embarrassed, but it seems to be happening every 15 seconds or so. Is that a kid compared to him? He's a middle-aged man. These are all middle-aged men, remember? They're all middle-aged men. Oh, my body was surprisingly honest about where I'd really wanted to go. <laughs> okay, I've just been sucked inside. Um, this is pretty racy. Oh, no one's here. And the whole bar, the whole bar, completely empty. It's slightly before the hour the bar should be open. Unusual delicious smell coming from somewhere. It was the smell of human flesh. Okay, so I'm having a wee nosy about in the back of the bar. Careful. Oh! What's that thief? <laughs> okay, help me choose. So, is it. Uh, Sochiro? I'm gonna go with Sochiro. Again, apologies um, for my bad pronunciation. Or, was it a thief? So, while someone helps me choose, I am going to uh, just top up my whiskey. Just a wee bit, of course, because it is 25 to 10 on a school night. Not that I go to school, but you get the idea. So someone help me decide, is it uh, the guy who runs the bar, the owner of the bar, I think, uh, or is it a thief? Uh, you have until I finish pouring a wee whiskey to help me choose. I don't much this bottle left, but let's not ruin it by drinking it too quickly. 
Ok. Right. Give you another wee second. But you remember, if you're just enjoying watching, you don't need to contribute. It's fine. Oh, I still don't understand why it says streaming Pac-Man. Eventually I'll figure out how to change that. I'm pretty sure I've changed it everywhere that it should say, but... Yeah, if you'd ask anyone right now, apparently I'm streaming Pac-Man. I mean, this could be what the brand new Pac-Man looks like. Uh, right, I think we're just going to go with the common sense approach. Because, uh, it's... Oh, thief! No, there we go. Just in before. Go for the thief. Right, okay, so Glitch Fender General, 897, and Chester Diamond say go for the thief. So... Was it a thief? I timidly looked inside. What if the thief saw me? Ah! Are you a thief? Were you trying to steal dinner? What are you doing in there? You're cooking? I don't, I don't even know what to say. I assumed you were a thief. <laughs> this is exactly the kind of sentence that a normal human would say. Yeah. I know it's essential for building and keeping relationships going smoothly. That's the exact type of thing that a normal, healthy person will say. Um, exa like, totally, legit, normal conversation. I'm blushing again. Face is very red. What nonsense am I thinking now? I feel like Scott's way too negative. I wish Scott would uh, be a bit more positive about himself. <clears throat> I'm nothing more than a cute girl to him. He just wants me for my cute body. Oofed. Oh, this is a nice, nice gambit, so they've established I don't have a boyfriend. Now let's find out if he's got a wife. Yeah, your wife, mate. <laughs> Not that you'd be interested in me like that. <laughs> Saying it aloud in myself, <laughs> it's like everything that comes out of Scott's mouth makes make, makes them feel miserable. What was I talking about? Oh, doesn't have a wife. Doesn't have a wife. Okay. Although I've got plenty of prospects, and a long time ago I used to have one. So divorcee. So I don't know. Should I be keeping notes here that this man's? I mean, again, nothing wrong with being a divorcee. That's perfectly fine. But I just feel like he's got a lot more life experience than me and he could take advantage. Used to. Yeah, I was young, married once. It was in the 1800s, um, before I was a vampire. Um, oh, she got fed up with it and left. Too involved in my work. My work, of course, being um, sucking the lifeblood out of mortals. Okay, so apparently Scott's absolutely buzzing that your man's divorced. Oh. So feel free to fall in love with me. I actually feel like that would be quite a good tagline for something like this. Like, feel free to fall in love with me. Just as if he'd read my mind. Like, is this not like the second time we've met or something? Like, we've met two. Three times maximum or something? Oof, don't make that a face, mate. Are you hungry? He's doing some shopping. When he comes back, we can have a little tasting party. So we're gonna jump him, we're gonna kill. We're gonna kill him and we're gonna eat him. What a really nice guy. What a really nice divorcee. Oh, a loud crash. Ah! Oh! The lights are also gonna right. That must be this must be a quick time event. Oh, the bar's underground. Okay, was that mentioned earlier? Did I miss the bit where they said it was an underground bar? Looks like the power's out. Sharp. I spoke in the direction where I thought Hideki was, but there was no reply. What was going on? Something didn't feel right. I wanted to find him. I groped around my but the music's gone very serious and very ominous. The only thing I could hear was the faint sound of his breath. Right, this is... Maybe a horror game? Has this become a horror game? What on earth could have happened? I'm actually getting quite excited. Got myself one. Oof, it's bright. Barely visible in the dim light. It's pretty bright. 
Oh no. Du ich dann vier. Oh. You obviously are. You obviously are, you liar. Touched his body. His brow was furrowed as he struggled to catch his breath. Obviously, in some sort of trouble. <laughs> Is he scared of the dark? I could feel his racing pulse. Oh. <laughs> Scott, you're you're so nice. You're so nice. But you can't. A girl can't just act like this around a guy. Around a mysterious guy. Cool. This is only chapter one of my time with, with him. What happens next? Don't lie to me right now. I'm so worried about you. Your hand. Oh, what? What's my hand doing? Oh, he grabbed onto it, right, that's better. His palm is ice cold. What if he is a vampire? What if this whole time has actually not been... Like, it's not been me joking, and he is legitimately a vampire. It could happen. Strange things have happened. Pulled my hand and placed it on his chest. Then I can feel the beats of his heart, though. Nah, nah, it's de definitely not a vampire. Can I be a vampire and have, like, a beating heart? Oh, so this is what the... Just kind of realised this is the kind of back of my head, so I'm quite. A, it looks like I'm quite a wee bit shorter. My face is growing redder, of course, because any time anyone looks at me, my face goes bright red. Obviously, he was lying to me. Because of me? What did I do? Did I kill him? Alright, okay, oh, another option. That's good, because I begin to wonder if there's going to be any more options coming up. Uh, so, do I keep asking? Do I, I kept asking him anyway, or I didn't ask him anything more? So, do I, do I still seem interested? Do I keep asking questions, or do I just stop speaking? Help me decide. So, more chat or less chat? I like these wee breaks, gives me a chance to have a wee sip of my whiskey. For anyone that's interested, um, if there's anyone who's into whiskey, uh, I'm drinking Highland Park Dark Origins, which is a lovely whiskey, which I've actually nearly finished, which is very upsetting. I got the bottle for my 30th birthday last year. It's very nice indeed. So, yeah, so do I keep asking him or don't ask him anything more? Uh, we'll give it just a wee minute and then I'll probably just choose an option. I'm going to have to make an executive decision because I would like to go to my bed at 10 o'clock. Uh, so we're going to go with... Oh, I feel like if you keep asking him, you might not like it. Ah, that's a good point. Well done, Glitch Finder General. We're going with I didn't ask him anything more. Let's, let's protect his feelings. Oh, I think you've I think you've put me on the right track the right track. Oh, the light from my cell phone has died out. I'm still strongly aware of his presence, which makes it sound like he's one hundred percent has an erection. I was wrapped in the scent of tobacco from the cigarette he'd been smoking. He'd been smoking. So wait there. Spends his time in a bar, worked so hard his wife left him. He had a wife that he referred to as having years ago, so he's much older than me. Taller than me as well, and he's smoking. Mm, it's not looking good. Oh, Christ! Sorry, I screwed up. <laughs> I went overboard with the cooking and I used up all the power. He's flipped his switch over. Don't break. Too many electric cooking appliances on at the same time. How many is too many?
I remembered everything. I remembered the agony he'd been in as I felt his heartbeat on my palm. Hmm. It feels like there's something off about that sentence. Do you know what I mean? Like, you read something, you're like, you can't quite put your finger on it, but you're like, it's, if it was me, that's not how I would have written that. It's okay. Was it wrong of me to be so curious about what had happened? No, I wouldn't say so. I wanted to know more about it. I wanted to find out what had made him this carefree sm- What had made this carefully smiling man so scared. I wanted to help him. I'm okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Yeah, I can complain. Sorry, you had to see me acting stupid. Oh, that's nice. Still trembling, I'm so slightly. <laughs> Got a look of shame in his face. Folk is always either like flushed, full of shame, or right up in my grill. Hey, right, that guy's out for a smoke. Get me some food. That's a good point. I told you I did something really stupid. I'm too embarrassed. He's a cool customer, this guy. Don't say that. Even I get embarrassed sometimes, especially when it gets dark. Alright. That intense gaze. Not worried about him? Uh, it's probably, yeah. He seems like he's pretty nervous. Isn't smoking uh, in a pub illegal? It's definitely illegal um, in like the UK. I'm, I'm not sure in Japan, although I do remember in Yakuza 6. They make reference to the fact that it's actually illegal to smoke on the street um, in certain areas. So I'm not sure. I'd, I'd like to hope so because smoking in pubs, like while I do remember it, like I think they banned it. I think I was 19. I think I want to say I was 19 when they banned smoking in pubs. Honestly, I mean as a non-smoker, obviously I wasn't too bothered. Like I was now, like I don't smoke, but it was quite nice to be able to like go out and come back home without absolutely reeking a cigarette. So, let's hope it's illegal. But he's gone outside. Anyway. Not sure what exactly ails your heart at the moment. That's not how a normal person speaks. Oh, eyebrows are up. Say one thing. Oh, what is it, big man? He's not lying when he said he was glad you were there to help him. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. This game just... It doesn't give you any warning when it transitions to something. It just goes bang right into it. So you're having a nice wee jolly laugh and suddenly... You fucking shit yourself. It gives you this PS1 looking save screen. Oh, that's bright. Likeability 15%. Uh, back. Right, cool. What we'll do, we'll play a bit more and then I'll maybe I'll play it up till 10 o'clock. So another 10 minutes. Uh, then I'll. I think an, an hour is always quite a nice time for a stream. It doesn't use up too much of your evening. It means I get to go to my bed about 10 past 10. The air around the station was crowded as usual for a weekday. <laughs> I like, let's have a quick look at the brands. There's something from 1997. Coffee, of course. Uh, and Old Fashioned. Old Fashioned what? Who knows? Was there really nothing I could do to help him? Those thoughts, holding my mind captive, I found myself looking for him. Uh, well, you see there's no way you'd possibly run into each other, but stranger things have happened. Ah! T right on cue. Someone grabbed my arm. Jesus. It's an attacker! It's an attacker! He's looking slightly flustered. Why was that? Because he was running about looking for me. When you ignored me and then sighed like that, I was sure you hated me. I was sure you hated me. Of course they'll hate you. Good. You cannot, like, I can talk to you. You, oh. He casually set his hand on my shoulder and anxiously peered at my face. Is this guy a doctor? Of course, there's no way he could. Oh. An invisible man has appeared. Oh, one of my employees. Okay, so this is sounding pretty good. Uh, uh, 
Where is he? Senior patrol officer? Okay. <gasps> He's a policeman. So, let's just put the picture back together again. Policeman, smokes, hangs in a bar all the time, wife's left him, uh, scared of the dark. Okay. Keeps his occupation secret. You're, I know you're popular with the high school girls at work. Um, that's a kind of difficult one to. Okay, so he's popular high school girls, and now you're getting them off the job. And, and now you're getting them off the job too. Shut the hell up. That's what I've been doing. Like, shut the hell up. But I'm being serious. But I'm being serious. Arguing like brothers. It's people who are like comedians and best friends and brothers. Every girl would have the guts to take a jab at a policeman like that. Did I just take a swing at him? Did I just try and punch a policeman? <laughs> Your name was Scott, what is it now? I'm a single. Am I, can I actually go out with the guy that you don't get to see on camera? Is that a possibility that potentially I could go out with Ken here? Who doesn't have a picture? Okay. Uh, okay, so he's just punched a... I mean, he's his employee, but... He's punched the policeman. Quit being stupid. Take one of these. A big punch. You didn't have to hit me for that. That is very fair. Don't waste your breath. Come on, we're getting back to questioning. What do you mean, questioning? Does this mean they've like... They've gone from like an interrogation and just wandering about the street? Is this like a new interrogation technique? Like, right, okay, to let him stew, we're just going to have a wander about and I'll hopefully bump into some woman I met in a bar. Alright, cool. Oh. Buy me a drink to make up for it. Make up for it. Scaring me in the street. Oh. What are you going to say, Ken? So I don't mean to be nosy, but something I had to ask you. What is it? Did anything happen to him recently? Oh, recently? <laughs> Jesus. Hope it's nothing. He could just be worrying for no reason. He's kind of been acting strangely recently. Do you have any idea what might have happened? No, I don't. Please don't ask. The lie slipped from my mouth and fell on the floor. Oh. <sighs> We're gonna get an option. Oh! No, I've just teleported straight to the bar. So that felt like it was building up to me to be like a wee choice so I can maybe find out more about him. But apparently, no, I've just teleported straight to uh, the pub. Both having a bit too much to drink. Don't don't be silly. I'm totally perfectly fine. Don't you dare. I'm not very convincing. Eh. You're so mean. You stupid old prick. Give me a drink. <laughs> oh hi you. Right, so I'd like to establish that it's, it's a magic pub. It must be a magic pub, it just summons me. It's like Persona. It does is a bit, it, it does, it's, it just reminds me slightly of the Persona games, actually, minus the fact um, I've had, I've not had to go into like a big TV and fight anything yet at the full moon. Uh, I, again, this guy, I've met this guy twi twice now, three times, so he's, he's, how does he know it's unusual? Okay, but that's a fucking weird thing to say. You take my hand as this spot, right? 
Scott. Yeah, that's me. How's it going? It was warm to the touch. He said my name so sweetly. Oh. Why, why couldn't it be him? Why couldn't it be him? Something on your mind. Another man. You felt what's been going on? Shit. Talk to me, I can help. Oh, a warm tear sliding down my face. Is my face also flushed? Why am I... Why am I crying? That's the kind of thing that a robot would say. Like, if this was... Like, I don't know... Bicentennial Man or something. Ring of door chimes at the entrance to the bar. Oh! You're close. Way too close to my Scott? I mean, he's a policeman in fairness, I probably wouldn't want to cross him. You're Scott, since when does she belong to you? I, I'm on your side, Toto, I, I, I don't feel comfortable. It's not necessarily that she does, more like she might, you know, or something. What? Makes sense, mate. But anyway, get your hands off of her. Get your hands off of her. <laughs> Oh, Christ, okay. Can't we love triangle here? Even through my drunken thoughts, I understood that he was doing it out of kindness. <laughs> Scott, are you okay? Done anything weird to me? What, does he have previous? Officer. What does that mean, anything weird to him? Kind of agree. Like what? What class wise is weird? Why do you always barge into things at the worst possible timing? Again, that's a good sense. That's definitely something someone's. Oof, was he here the whole time? Or did he just like appear out of nowhere? <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder how psychic I am when it comes to this game because I seem to be guessing what the next line they're going to say is. He's been right here the whole time, watching. Oh. Feels like you're interrupting. Oh Christ. Feels like there's a lot of options for me to maybe choose something like a yes or a no or a good path, bad path. It seems like the game is very reluctant to give me that opportunity. Spilled around my seat, okay. I'm glad you came too. Looks a little shy. He wouldn't look at my face. My face, which is no doubt bright red, and I'm also crying. Let's give these two kids some space. Was I acting stupid again? Oh. I think Scott has been too blatant in putting all our cards on the table at once. If I'm being perfectly honest, I feel like it's a bit more withholding. I was so drunk. I was so drunk. An old guy like him. Again, this is embarrassing. You're much more adorable than I could ever be. Oh Christ. Okay, we have a decision. Okay, so either I, I'm not uh, cuter than he could ever be, or I'm buzzing, absolutely buzzing. That he said. So again, I shall wait for assistance.
Okay, so again, I'll give it just a wee minute to see if someone wants to help me out. This could be the last decision of the night. Especially if it goes wrong and he kills me. I mean, he's, now he knows a policeman, so he could get away with it. Be happy? Yeah, okay. I'm happy you said that. Yeah, I, f I feel like that's a good option. I feel like he'd be good with that. Oh, something different. Yeah, I'm I'd be buzzing. <laughs> good, good. Um, I'm just drunk. You don't let me drunk. No way. I think I might just like you even more this way. Mm -hmm. Oh, shock. Mind what? I teased him, pretending to not understand. If he decided he liked me more, he might be willing to tell me more about himself. You gonna buy me a drink? I'm already steaming. What kind of drink is it? Is it about my eyes? Feels very. Oh Jesus! He's teleporting me outside again. Again, keep saying things like I'm at an age when blah blah blah, and I'm like, what does that mean exactly? What age is he meant to be? Old man again. And touch mine. It was very warm from all the alcohol. All the really warm alcohol. Oh, something else you want to ask me. What's that? Can you please invite me into your home? Because it's the only way I'll be able to get it. Oh, we've taken a little detour. Oh, Christ. Uh, I mind just a wee bit. Oh. <clears throat> we arrived at a park deserted of people. The water splashing from the fountain was the only sound. <laughs> and how long ago were you eating? I think it's I think it's about time we found out. My late first love. Hmm? Oh wait, did his wife did see I assumed his wife left him because he worked too hard? Did she die because he worked too hard? Yeah? What would you do if I said I felt the same way about you? Um, it'd be a bit weird about because we've only known each other for apparently about four days. He's fallen in love with me. It's been four days, man. What do I think of you? What do you think of me? How do I? Do you have a shot at the candidacy to be your boyfriend? Mm, again, it's not something a normal person would say. Could I date someone I knew hardly anything about? Feels like if I don't say yes, he may leave my body in that friend. That was when I wanted to be his girlfriend. <laughs> my old heart, my old body, my dying body. You're gonna give a dying man a bad time. I think about you all the time. I have done for the last four days. Oh. I want to be someone who you can tell all the things that are in your heart. <sighs> oh, good. This is. I'm, I'm glad Scott has been slightly withholding. Is it okay if we hold hands again? <laughs> yeah. Our hands entwined, the sensation bringing a wave of heat through my body. There's a lot of heat in this game. I really do like you. My heart was beating as hard as an alarm bell. And his heart was too. Oh, He didn't move. Oh no. <gasps> Doesn't look very happy about it. Is it okay if I kiss you? Oh, so the hands gently gripping my chin. Vision's filled with his face. Oh, is he gonna kiss me? <gasps> He's kissing me. He's kissing me. The man of my dreams is kissing me. Oh. 
I'll become someone you can love and trust. Someone you can believe in. Feels like Scott's putting a lot on the table here and a lot of kind of like, right, I'll do a lot of the changing. Doesn't feel like he's done a lot of changing. I don't think that's very fair. Oh, he's held my head to his chest so I could hear and feel his heartbeat, proving once and for all that he was not a vampire. Is that all good? Is my erection that all good? Oh, Twilight Park. <laughs> my kisses were impatient, my chest aflame. I wanted even more than just kisses, but I knew it wasn't time for that yet. <laughs> I gave myself over to the softness of his lips. Ah. And then suddenly it was daytime. Oh, a few weeks has passed. Right, okay, so I'm glad we've established a bit more of a time frame now. This is good. Oh, again today? Oh. There's a lot of police around. Oh, the same two police. <gasps> the person I'd be looking for was Ken. Oh, God. She's going to cheat on him with Ken. Too late. What are you doing here? Speaking to my employee. <laughs> True enough. Oh, a ringtone is interrupting Ken. Will, will the game play a ringtone? No ringtones here. Oh, music's changed. You mean me the policeman? Or just Ken? Oh, I lied to your earlier. Expression looked like he was deep in thought, but there's no guarantee he actually was. Oh. Yeah, I don't understand half what you're saying. Roger that. Oh. Okay, right. So. Might as well see if we can get to the end of this chapter, shall we? Might as well. Uh, so, another option. So, don't worry about it or I see. I feel like I don't worry Don't worry about it is the kind of more relaxed option. And like, oh, God, don't worry about it, Celia. I see makes it feel like I'm a bit annoyed. So, am I cool with it or am I annoyed? Help me choose. Ah, nice, <clears throat> nice big drink of water. Hope I'm um, being loud and clear enough. By the way, I do have a um, habit. Uh, I'm in the habit of mumbling, and when you mumble in a Scottish accent, it can be fairly incomprehensible. Okay, so be chillaxed. Okay, don't worry about it. Thank you, Glitchfinder General. You've been a big help through this so far. Don't worry about it. Your job is much more important than me. Oof. Oh, actually, that did not come off as relaxed and cool as it sounded. Oh, okay. He didn't look happy with that, but then he seems okay. 
to the left of our smart base. Oh, chapter two complete. That was uh, immediate. Okay, well, we'll save here. Uh, and, okay, let's see. Let's just see what my likability is going up to. Okay, to all right. It doesn't even work. This is amazing. It doesn't even work with the analog stick. Amazing. Likeability 26%. I wonder if that's as good as it could be right now or what. Right, so we'll leave it there. So we'll, <laughs> um, we'll leave it uh, and we'll resume from chapter 3 when we next play. So um, it, uh, probably the next stream I think I'll do, well, I'll be going back to episode 2 of Life is Strange. Just so I can kind of alternate between them. Because uh, I was enjoying Life is Strange. It'd be good to play a bit more of it. Uh, so, but after that, we'll maybe alternate it with a wee bit of... Um, of this certainly uh, palpable palpable desire sounds like um a pretty good chapter name i'd say so yeah what we'll do is um if you're already f f like contributing to our patreon which i know everyone has a patreon now but we have one patreon.com slash bitsocket um we're gonna have a lot of new content coming up on monday which will be our new pod our new podcast our bonus podcast for patrons um videos we've got a review of vampire ikaruga on the switch and various articles and uh, another video as well of a game that was really good fun to play um so yeah, uh, thanks for uh, watching and thanks for helping in the chat as well. Certainly, definitely, uh, Glitchfinder General, without you I would be lost. And yeah, I hope you all have a good night and hope to see you soon. <laughs>